Nobody won't bring you now? <laughs> I never asked him. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 forgot who, I forgot who I'm talking to. So Have Ursula bring you. Ursula, you can go to church yourself. Uh, bring so you what she told me her baptism <laughs> stuff. She said baptism stuff. Grandma, I do go to church. Don't go to church yourself. She don't go? Yeah, she don't come to my Zion church. Oh. She must go to another one. You go to another one. She don't go to no church. No, the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the reason, Ursula. Well, right, you go. Go. Well, 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 you go. Well, no, no, the real want the band. When you got family and kids, you don't want the band to do that. Okay. So well, there's a verse in the Bible that says the family has a first responsibility. Okay, well, I'm going to start bringing my family. So, yeah, because you don't ever want to send your, 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 your loved ones on a van if you got a car. Right. Okay. That ain't Christian for the family. Right. Mm -hmm. No, and I, I hate to see family like come pick up my loved one because I don't feel like going. And the Bible specifically. The way you put it, you put it, you know, make it more sure the church no, is your but, but seriously, that's what, because to read 2 Timothy, it talks about that. And people, most people don't realize the family is the first responsibility and then the church. Oh, okay. And we're not supposed to abdicate or put our responsibility on someone else. And that's what, uh, you know. I got a birthday Friday today. That's why we're here. Because of your birthday. Because if I, if I remember, hold on, don't tell me. 91, 92. 93, right? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell them what your birthday, tell them your birthday and your birth year. And then let him do the math, mother. Let me do okay, it. okay. <laughs> tell him what you, okay, go ahead. Junior 19, 1928. See, so eight from <laughs> twelve is four. That's qu that's quick math. So that'd be ninety-four. There you go. So how old are you? You'd be ninety-four. I guess I will. Yeah. <laughs> you were born in twenty-eight. Eight from two. Eight from twelve is four. Quick math. Ninety-four. 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 Ninety-four.
can't leave where you, yet. Where you going, Earth? Because the pastor going to pray for us, yeah. okay? Yeah, Earth. He's going to pray, so just stay a little longer, okay? Why is okay. she, she putting you on the spot like that? You remember when I baptized you? Yes, sir. And my son. My son is like a police officer now. Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. I know. Oh. What do you say about me? She is in that house. Mother. Now who's that right there? Right Number here. Number eight is the Reverend Pastor Reverend at his mother. One is Michael, one is Chris, right? Yeah. How, how are you, Chris? I'm good. That's Mike. That's See, Chris. mother's already said, Chris. Okay, do you remember the young man over there? Uh, that is, um, oh my God. Take your mask off. I know so who he is. I know who he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, who's now. that? I know who he is. Um, that's Chris or Michael. Huh? No, that's not Michael. Huh? So. <laughs> you Chris? Okay, I'll tell you what, who Chris. his father yeah. is. Howard McCullough. His I father. Oh, that's what you Howard. heard. That's, that's. No, no, I know who he is. No, I, that was best for her. That's Howard McCullough. No, son. Now, which one? Which one? Probably Howard. That's Chris. No. Oh, no, that's Christopher there, <laughs> mother. That's Howard. That's not Howard. You were no, that's not Howard. <laughs> Jack. Who's Jack? Where's Jack at? Shelton. Shelton. Who? Shelton. She probably didn't see him that much. Uh, she she was, was little. Yeah, he used to be over the Ann Gilmer's all the time. Oh, His grandma. grandma. Really? And never been, it was my eyes running. I mean, she has been gone for a long time. I know. Things are going well. Is it? Oh, yeah. But I haven't heard from you no more, so I told my husband we're going to back off. <laughs> I thought we already completed the deal. <laughs> we did. We did. We, we, we got delayed, but but we everything's wrapping up now. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. You working? Okay. Mother, that's Shelton. Oh, uh, Shelton. Uh, uh, I'm her grandson. She uh, knows who it is. She just couldn't remember the name. <laughs> Do it look like his mom? His, his aunt Delma. Delma. I mean, the aunt Delma is his grandma. But she, she can see stuff. Huh? What about aunt Delma? Let me grab something out of my car. You come back. Because <laughs> <laughs> we got to pray, Ursula. Okay. If you're going to leave, we got to pray. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Do you, know, do you know this young man? Of course. Mother. 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 You're so much. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm trying. Who gave me this? I did. Don't throw that anywhere now, because that's worse. That's worse. Don't throw it anyway, Mother. I won't. I won't. Okay. Mother, who's this young man here? Right here. Who's that? You guys tell her she you don't that. know. She don't know. <laughs> His grandma is. Lots of people. Uh, Lots of people don't right. know. And Angie, tell her who he is. What's your name? Is. My grandma is Reva Goodwin. Yeah, Reva Goodwin. Oh, Corey. Corey. Oh, oh, you're related to me. Yeah, sure am. Okay. Barbara, come on. You got the hug. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is my sister Barbara. She's the one stay with my mom. Barbara let us in. Yeah. Uh -huh. She stopped me from running down the street. Okay. Tried to hit me to park on the sidewalk. <laughs> Somebody hit my truck with this bicycle. Uh -huh. No, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look. Um, first of all, really just thank God for the longevity of life, mm -hmm. and thank God for 94 years. That's that's been a long time um, to be alive. Uh, for God to allow you to have the impact. And we really appreciate you and the impact God has allowed you to have, the family, the legacy, and me. So we thank God for that. And so we want to stop by to just to celebrate um, with you the 94 years that, that God has given you and the impact is still being made. So we really just want to lift you up in prayer and your strength and, and the power of God in your life. God, we thank you now for uh, your servant, Bernice McKinley. You, uh, you birthed her in this earth. And, in 1928, and in 1928, you saw this day, 
Uh, you saw her children. You saw her grandchildren. Uh, you saw her faith. You saw her commitment to you. And you saw the impact that you were going to use through her. So thank you now for the longevity of life. Thank you for her strength, her faith. Um, Lord, that you've allowed her to, to impact lives on this earth. And others now know you because of her. And others have turned to you and lives have changed because of her, her family, her, uh, her children, her grandchildren, all because you used her. Um, we know her to be your workmanship. She was created in Christ Jesus unto good works that was ordained before the foundation of the world. And even at 94, you still are using her. Her presence is a reminder of how good you are. Your presence is a reminder of your word and your promises that you've made to those who will fear and honor you. So now, Lord, thank you for her strength. Uh, thank you for her, her, her comfort, her peace that you give her, the family, and her, the children, and her, the siblings that surround her, um, that are ministering to her and help her now on a daily day basis. Thank you for them. Thank you for the wisdom and insight that you continue to give them. And thank you now, Lord, for uh, continuing now just to uh, minister to her and use her as an instrument in your glory. We see your handiwork right now. And so we give you honor, we give you glory, and we give you praise. It's in the precious name of Jesus we pray and ask all things. Amen. Amen. Wait, Ursula, we got to sing that prayer. There's a picture of it. I'm sure that, that middle picture. So, okay. Keisha, let's sing. Let me write yeah, my own. Right? You want to sing happy birthday? We're going to sing happy birthday. I want in the middle. Uh, Reverend Dr. Christopher. What she wanted her to say? No, that oh, that's that one? Oh, this one. This one? Is there another one up there? This one? No, where? I thought I had Reverend picture. No. <laughs> I thought I had Reverend picture. No, you ain't had his picture. Lord help me. <laughs> well, we have to send you one. We have to get you one. So you'll have one. Yeah, we have to send you one. Happy birthday, Sister Bernice McKinley. Happy birthday to you. Okay, our class is on. Thank you, Reverend. Excuse me. Yeah, on our birthday. You're on the stable hour. You're on the stable hour. Just come, and we're not throwing an hour this week. <laughs> okay, Thank you to church Sunday. Uh, you, you want me to come and take you to church Sunday? I'm going to see. I'm going to do that. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you know you roll with me. It's nice seeing everybody. Okay. Excuse me. Y'all take care. Okay. Look, we're going to get out. A couple of things we got to do now.